This is Steve Via here doing a video for my Home Depot review of the Hampton Bay Riverbrook seven piece dining set. So in this video, I'm just gonna pretty much show you what the ta table looks like and explain some of the features and things that comes with it. But as you can see here, it is a uh, seven piece set. This is the aluminum set, just so you know, this uh, set also comes in steel and I'll kind of explain the difference between those two as I go through. Um, but uh, I really like this set. It's really sty stylish. The uh, colors are nice. It's got like an espresso paint on it. Um, the cushion te texture and color and pattern go really great with it. And as you can see on my uh, brown deck with black railings, it looks pretty good. So um, I like it. I find all the chairs very com comfortable to sit in. The table has a lot of room. Um, I really like the glass. It's kind of stylish. It's modern, not too modern, but um, it will get dirt dirty. The good thing though is uh, glass is pretty easy to clean compared to metals, which you might have to clean with a with like a more uh, harsh cleaner or, or things of that sort. So, um, but I really like it. <clears throat> All right, I'll start on the three different pieces. Uh, the set comes in three different boxes. Um, the first box is the ta table box, so I'll kind of go over that. Um, the table is 40 by 65 inches. Um, so and it sits at a nice height. It's a it's a good weight and it's uh, fair fairly sturdy. One thing I love about it is it's got that umbrella hole there. Um, some sets do not come with that. Uh, for me, that is a must-have. So overall, re re really nice table. Uh, the next box or the next thing is the four stationary chairs. So these chairs don't swivel. The backs don't go back and forth. Uh, they're just your standard sta sta stationary chairs. Uh, I find them nice and comfortable. Uh, on all these chairs, uh, compared to my last set, the backs are pretty high. The backs sit at 42 inches. And all the chairs have uh, 20 inches of width here, so plenty of room to sit. The fabric on all the chairs, um, it's kind of like there's a little thread here, but it's kind of like a nylon, I think, kind of like a plastic. And then there's cushioning in there, which you can kind of see through. It's like a, it's like a thin foam and that runs all the way down through here. The pro of that is you don't have to store cushions in a deck box or a shed or leave them out in the rain. Um, the con is, is if this sits in the shade for a while and gets re re really wet, it's probably gonna get dirty and maybe get a little mil mildew on it. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, but overall it's, uh, it's a fairly dur durable fa fa uh, fabric here per se. So, I uh, really like these uh, chairs. One thing I'll note while I'm down here is all the bottoms of everything, the table, the chairs, uh, have plastic bottoms on them so they won't damage uh, your deck or, or, uh, or patio. There is no metal. So, in the third box, that comes, uh, comes with uh, two swivel chairs. So I got them on the ends here. Uh, and these chairs, uh, as you can imagine, you can easily just turn them around and they swivel around. They also have a a little bit of a spring built in under there. Here, shot there, so you can lean lean back in these, which makes these a little more com comfortable to sit in. Um, so the uh, swivel, swivel chairs are nice. And if you haven't noticed, as I'm moving these things around, they move pretty easily. Uh, that's because aluminum is a lot lighter than uh, the other metal this set comes in, which is steel. And the pros of alu aluminum is everything's light, so it's easy to move, move around. Also, aluminum does not really rust easily. Uh, it actually, what it does is it uh, corrodes, um, but it doesn't do that as nearly as fast as uh, steel will. Uh, steel will rust fast. The downside to having aluminum is with everything being so light, if a storm comes through, you're in an area with heavy winds, especially since you can't remove these uh, cushions or pads here, um, this table might get blown around a little bit. So, um, but overall, I went with the with the, alum, alum, the aluminum set because it is less maintenance. Um, everything did come in good good shape here. Nothing was broken. The glass obviously didn't break. I was worried about that. Um, one thing I'll note is the glass here is tempered. Uh, so what that means is if this were to break, um, it would not break into giant dangerous shards. It would break into uh, small re relatively safe uh, pieces similar to a car window if that were to break um, assembly took me about two hours and that was with using a power drill power driver um, i had atta attachments for all the hex screws that this comes with 
Um, if I did not use that, it probably would have taken me another half hour, 45 minutes of using the hand tools. I will note uh, the directions are pretty straightforward. Uh, this just takes a lot of time, so give yourself about a half day uh, to put this to together. There was only uh, one confusing part of the directions, which I note, but it wasn't that bad. Um, and then as I put it together, I noticed no damage on the paint. I've learned, I try not to scratch the paint. Any area you scratch on this will eventually corrode. Um, so I managed to not scratch anything and nothing was damaged in the box. Um, so I'll quickly go over some ma measurements and then I'm done. Uh, the ta table is 40 inches by 65. The chair backs are a little higher than my old set. They are 42 inches tall. And I went over the width of the uh, chairs there already. So anyway, um, this concludes my video. And um, thank you for watching and I hope this informs your purchasing decision.